Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel where I like to share any and all things that bring me joy, hence the name Share Elation. In one of my last videos, a, a viewer of mine had requested a video to compare the Goyard Plumet bag with the Lululemon belt bag and the Longchamp Le Pliage pouch. So based on that request, I went ahead and filmed this video. So I figured I would do a few um, kind of experiments to show you because I know sometimes if you're in the process of thinking of buying one of these items, the more information you have, the better. So we'll first by start by weighing each of the bags and then see how much can fit in a, a typical situation where I would carry certain things and then how much it weighs completely full with those items. Um, so let's get started. So I'm going to first weigh the belt bag. This is the original Lululemon belt bag and it weighs exactly six ounces or 0.17 kg. This is the original because of the black on black hardware, which I do like because it's very sleek. I keep it at the longest setting and just sling it across my body. I never tried actually wearing it as a belt bag, but this comes in at the cheapest at 38 US dollars, which now I think these they stock it quite often. I don't think they have the black on black version, but you certainly have a whole array of colors to choose from. Next is my Longchamp Le Pliage pouch in the color gray. And I did include a strap from Dress Up Your Purse, which by the way, I've really been enjoying. I'm going to weigh it with the strap. It's lighter at 5.2 ounces and 0.15 kg. Now, if I really wanted to, um, I'm going to remove the strap, but the, the little uh, loops that hold that, that um, that attach to the strap, I will not remove. It can't be that much heavier with the, the little loops, but just to give you an idea, without the strap from Dress Up Your Purse, it is 3.2 ounces or 0 0.09 kg. So this is definitely the lightest of the trio. And having the extra strap is really convenient because it gives more versatility. I keep it stuck on, but clearly it's very easy to add or remove. Um, just don't remove those little loops because it, it did take me a little while to get it on. Um, there is a link down below for this particular conversion kit and also a 15% code if you're interested. It's not very expensive and it really brings a lot more versatility to this bag. So I really enjoyed that strap. Last is the Goyard Plumet bag. This is kind of their version of a wallet on chain, and it comes in at 5.4 ounces or 0.15 kg. So these, all three of these are very lightweight, very comparable in terms of that, but clearly in terms of the pricing is not as comparable. I said that this, this was 38 US dollars, now this pouch retails at 100 US dollars in the US. However, when I purchased it, I, I bought it when I was um, in Paris for my one day solo trip. And I feel like I can't really remember the exact amount, but at that time, the conversion rate was very much in our favor where the euro and the dollar were uh, pretty much one to one and the dollar was actually a little bit stronger. So I wanna say I paid around 60, 70 US dollars for this, but don't quote me on that. I have to search my old receipts, but it was definitely cheaper than 100 US dollars. The conversion kit is not too expensive, so I'll, I'll provide that link down below in at, um, to dress up your purse. This bag I also purchased in Japan when I was there um, last summer, and I bought this at, at that time with all the re exchange rate and all of that. I calculated it was about $1,036. So clearly this is the most expensive because it, it is a luxury brand. It is difficult to get because you have to go to a physical Goyard store, wait in line and ask for this item. Now, if you were purchasing this, they don't consider this as a bag, they consider it as an accessory. So that's just another fact. And if you wanted to buy a bag with an accessory, they do allow you to do that. Otherwise, there are certain restrictions. I think you're not allowed to buy 
um, a certain number of bags in a visit or within a certain amount of time frame. Okay, so those um, that is the weight and price of each of these items. So now let's fill each one up and weigh that just to give you an idea. So I typically, if I used one of these bags, um, the belt bag and the, the pouch, the Le Pliage pouch fit more. So I'm gonna pack that to, if I really wanted to bring a little more than usual, I would do this. So I, I have my Chanel card holder, so I'm gonna put that here in the back. I have a little pack of tissues I got from Daiso. I would carry my Bastia, uh, where I put coins and cash in here. So that should fit in one of the front pockets here. It fits in nice and snug here, so it, it's right in front. I would carry a sunscreen. Now the weather is getting a little cooler here in New York. I would carry uh, like a hand lotion, so I would just kind of put it opposite like that. A uh, little hand sanitizer. I got this from Bath and Body Works, and this is the Kitchen Mandarin scent. I love my citrus scent, so I would put this standing up in the front pocket. Sunglasses. And if I really wanted to, maybe one or two lipsticks here. Um, actually, I will lay this down in the bottom. Now, because you're using such a small bag, if you buy things and you need a little extra shopping bag along with it, I have this very uh, squishy little reusable bag. You can just pop this on top and it will close without a problem. You know this little bag is small but mighty. It can even fit a full-size water bottle uh, like the the Poland Spring 16.9 fluid ounce water bottle. So this is how it fits with everything that I just showed in here. It's, it is a little bit bulky, but I mean, it's because you have all the items in there. So let's weigh this with all of these items. A little over a pound, one pound and 0.6 ounces or 0.47 kg. Next, I think the same amount will fit into the, the pouch, the Le Pliage pouch bag. Notice I didn't use the back pocket. You certainly can. Um, I would actually, I forgot my phone. I would put my phone in the back. So let's just weigh this really quickly with the phone, which will clearly make it a little heavier. Or you could just carry your phone on your hand or put it in your, your pocket. 0.74 kg or one pound 10 out 10.2 ounces so getting closer to the two pound mark now if i was going to use the lip pouch there's only one big pocket in here so let's transfer the phone let's move the essentials that i definitely would carry so i'm going to try and fit all of that the tissue the coin purse These items should all fit. Let's see, I may have to lay this on top like that. Let's put the two lipsticks kind of standing up on the side. The hand lotion. I don't know if my sunglasses will fit. It's gonna be a little tight, it probably will. But the um, the extra shopping bag will not fit. Actually, this is very tight. Let me try to cram it in. It does fit and it does zip, but you can see it's packed to the full. Now, another, another good option here is this particular little reusable bag has this hook. So if I really wanted to, I can hook it on to the bag itself. Doesn't look so pretty, but it does the job if you really need to have it with you. So this weighs, I mean, it's very comparable anyway, so you're not gonna see, uh, it's gonna be similar to the belt bag. One pound, 10.6 ounces or 0.75 kg. Now the Goyard is not gonna fit all of these items. I know that for sure. So I'm gonna try to do that really quick just to show you amount. Because of the size of the bag and the construction of it, it's consistent of like two, three little pouches in the middle and it is expandable to a certain extent. 
but I know it won't fit all of these items. Now, the pouch, I'm sure it will not fit. And let's see how much we can fit into here without compromising the, the shape. So typically, if I carry the phone, which I do, I will put it in the back pocket. So that already takes up some of the, the width of the bag. I usually put my card holder in the back pocket here, although you can opt to just not use the card holder and just grab the credit cards. I would put the tissue here in the back, in, sorry, in the middle pocket because it's not that big um, and the tissue is squishable. Okay, so I'm gonna put these lipsticks here, one here. Let's see if this will fit. And the other, let's see if it will fit on the other side. It does. Now it's getting already really tight because I already expanded this back piece. The front does not have too much left, but I think I can probably fit my Bastia. And let's say like a hand, uh, like a hand lotion. The hand sanitizer probably not because it's a little, uh, like a little round, um, round tube. I mean, I can opt to carry that instead of the hand lotion. Actually, probably do that and probably lay this on top if I must. The sunglasses and my sunscreen will not fit. It is going to be a little bulky. You can see on the side, it's a little wonky as well, but it does the job. It will fit quite a bit, and I would probably hook this outside of the bag. Again, not m not my ideal way of carrying this, but if I really needed to, and I didn't want to carry a big bag, that's what I would do. So let's weigh this. Let's try to reset it. Okay, weigh this with everything in it, without the sunglasses, sunscreen, and let's just add the pouch. One pound seven ounce or 0.65 kg. So I hope this gives you a good reference of the size of each bag and how much fits and the price range as well as the weight. I'm now gonna remove this and do the final comparison of, just a visual comparison of each of these items just so you can see it side by side because I know that's quite helpful sometimes. So I'm gonna snap this shut and I'm gonna zip this up here and also zip this. So we're not counting the straps in this case. So in size order, the plumet actually looks the biggest, but it really isn't. And the Le Pliage pouch is technically probably the smallest. Okay, so you can see when I lay these side by side, actually, if I line it up, I'm, I'm gonna try and line it up corner to corner. It's not really that easy to compare because of the material. So if I line it up all over here, you'll see on this side, the Le Pliage is um, the most shortest in width. This one comes in the middle and the, the Goyard Plumet is the widest. Although when you stuff it, because the nylon is more flexible, we know that the Lulu Lemon Belt Bag can fit more. In terms of the height, of course, we're not counting the top handle of the Le Pliage. You can see that the height is also in size order. This one is the shortest, the Le Pliage, then the belt bag, and then the plumette. And in terms of the, the depth of the bag, you can see that because the Lululemon belt bag can expand more, these two are more uh, flexible in that sense, and this is the slimmest. Now, if I try to kind of puff it out like that, it's, it's really hard to show, but you can see it has some expandability there, but I would say these two are kind of more close in range in terms of what can fit in, in everything. Now, if I had to choose on a day-to-day -day basis, I would not really opt for my belt bag. Although it does fit the most, it is so casual, so carefree. This is a perfect travel bag, but I wouldn't carry it like um, to work. So as you know, when I work, I carry either a tote bag or a backpack and a, like a small bag in addition to it. I wouldn't really carry this because it just doesn't really go. So I would opt for either one of these, which I have been. I usually grab, um, depending on my 
you know what I feel or maybe the weather if it's really pouring rain I go for this although this can work too um, both are very very much like work appropriate I guess um, and to me it's not as eye-catching as other brand name bags although if you know Goyard you know this is a luxury brand but this is very um, you know under the radar if you have it close to your body unless you really love your bags and notice it you won't really pay too much attention to this uh, certainly not this although this has become more popular I see this around a lot not so much with the Goyard because it's a little harder to get so if I had to opt for a day-to-day -day option I would think the Le Pliage wins because of the price point the accessibility and how much it can fit and it really goes with any occasion i mean probably not a very formal setting but other than that it's a really great go-to everyday bag that you can use all the time and get a lot of good cost per wear out of it so that's it for me i hope this was helpful especially to the person that requested this video if you have any questions please leave me a comment down below i'd love to have a conversation with you there stay happy and healthy until next time bye